Hi, I'm Terry Barishas. I was a state legislator, first one of the first progressives elected to the state legislature back in 1990, served five consecutive terms in the legislature. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about, there were some scandals that really went unreported back at the time. Even before I was elected uh, under Governor Kunin, a Democrat, the, uh, there was an established something called the Vermont Venture Capital Fund. It was a fund that uh, would be managed by somebody who was a capitalist who understood business opportunities. Uh, rich Vermonters could put money into this fund and get tax breaks. That was the incentive to put the money into the fund. The, the notion was this would help create jobs. You know, we have these this, this capitalist investing in Vermont businesses and we'll get more jobs out of it. Of course, the people did get their tax breaks and the person who ran the Vermont Venture Capital Fund got his management fee of about $100,000 per year to manage the fund. But when I got into the legislature, looked, looking through the old reports, I discovered they hadn't made any investments in any Vermont businesses. They had made some investments, but in businesses not in Vermont. They hadn't found any good opportunities that would allow the rich people who had invested in the fund to become even significantly wealthier. So the whole approach to economic development was, what is good for rich people? Can we find opportunities in Vermont that will help rich people get richer? That was, that was the strategy that was being pursued. I want to counter now, I brought this to, the, and there was some news coverage about it at the time, but quite frankly, and eventually it was, it was abandoned uh, in sort of embarrassment um, by the Democrats, but um, this still, the, the, the dynamic is, is still in play of what do the rich people think we should be doing? The counter position that we would put forward and we did put forward at the time were things like the Vermont um, uh, Eco Markets Initiative. The idea was with the environmental crisis that's upon us, this was back in the 1990s when a lot of people were not talking about climate. Um, we were proposing that there would be a group of uh, state officials that would come together and figure out what are the necessary changes that are needed in society in terms of the environment that would to protect society down the road. Well, are those things, could we create businesses focused on those? For example, the example that I used to use was, could we make super energy efficient refrigerators that didn't use you know, CFCs? Could we then establish a law saying that all landlords in Vermont have to provide their tenants with super energy efficient refrigeration. And they could be financed through the utilities so the landlords wouldn't actually have to pay out of pocket up front. It would be just financed and the savings in the energy would cover the costs long-term. The, the, the tenants would be better off, the landlords wouldn't hurt, the environment would be better off. Uh, and the goal was we would manufacture those refrigerators in Vermont, we would create the jobs. That kind of thinking of, of bringing the whole cycle, the jobs, the environmental protection, economic benefits for low-income people, that proposal, groups like VPIRG came on board. We managed Vermont Natural Resources Council. A lot of groups were in, excited by this, but I gotta say the politicians, the establishment, they, no, no interest. It was too complex. Um, I would say that the thinking that we did bring to that kind of issue has slowly filtered its way up because at the time when we were first elected, the, the, the slogan you heard over and over again from other legislators, Terry, politics is the art of the possible. And we, we used to say is no, politics is the art of changing what is perceived to be possible. We wanted to push things forward, not just do the things that could easily be accomplished at the time.